Today is September the 11th, and this day, like every day, we are on a journey. In this podcast, we will include readings of scripture, meditation, silence, and prayer. Our readings come from the Revised Common Lectionary. We begin our reading in Jeremiah chapter 4, verses 11 through 12, then 22 through 28. Then we go to Psalm 14. From there, we go to Exodus chapter 32, verses 7 through 14. And we finish in Luke's Gospel chapter 15, verses 1 through 10. This is the word of the Lord. Jeremiah 4. The time is coming when the Lord will say to the people of Jerusalem, My dear people, a burning wind is blowing in from the desert, and it's not a gentle breeze useful for winnowing grain. It is a roaring blast sent from me. Now I will pronounce your destruction. My people are foolish and do not know me, says the Lord. They are stupid children who have no understanding. They are clever enough at doing wrong, but they have no idea how to do right. I looked at the earth, and it was empty and formless. I looked at the waters, and there was no light. I looked at the mountains and the hills, and they trembled and shook. I looked, and all the people were gone. All the birds of the sky had flown away. I looked, and the fertile fields had become a wilderness. The towns lay in ruins, crushed by the Lord's fierce anger. This is what the Lord says. The whole land will be ruined, but I will not destroy it completely. The earth will mourn, and the heavens will be draped in black because of my decree against my people. I have made up my mind, and I will not change it. Psalm 14 For the choir director, a psalm of David. Only fools say in their hearts, There is no God. They are corrupt, and their actions are evil. Not one of them does good. The Lord looks down from heaven on the entire human race. He looks to see if anyone is truly wise, if anyone seeks God. But no, all have turned away. All have become corrupt. No one does good, not a single one. Will those who do evil never learn? They eat up my people like bread and wouldn't think of praying to the Lord. Terror will grip them, for God is with those who obey him. The wicked frustrate the plans of the oppressed, but the Lord will protect his people. Who will come from Mount Zion to rescue Israel? When the Lord rescues his people, Jacob will shout with joy and Israel will rejoice. Exodus 32 The Lord told Moses, Quick, go down the mountain. Your people, whom you brought from the land of Egypt, have corrupted themselves. How quickly they have turned away from the way I commanded them to live. They have melted down gold and made a calf, and they have bowed down and sacrificed to it. They say, These are your gods, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Then the Lord said, I have seen how stubborn and rebellious these people are. Now leave me alone, so my fierce anger can blaze against them. And I will destroy them, then I will make you, Moses, into a great nation." But Moses tried to pacify the Lord his God. O Lord, he said, why are you so angry with your own people, whom you brought from the land of Egypt with such great power and such a strong hand? Why let the Egyptians say their God rescued them with the evil intention of slaughtering them in the mountains and wiping them from the face of the earth? Turn away from your fierce anger. Change your mind about this terrible disaster you have threatened against your people. Remember your servants Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You bound yourself with an oath to them, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars of heaven, and I will give them all this land that I have promised to your descendants, and they will possess it forever. So the Lord changed his mind about the terrible disaster he had threatened to bring on his people. Luke 15 Tax collectors and other notorious sinners often came to listen to Jesus teach. This made the Pharisees and teachers of religious law complain that he was associating with such sinful people, even eating with them. 
So Jesus told them this story. If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them gets lost, what will he do? Won't he leave the ninety-nine others in the wilderness and go to search for the one that is lost until he finds it? And when he has found it, he will joyfully carry it home on his shoulders. When he arrives, he will call together his friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, because I have found my lost sheep. In the same way, there is more joy in heaven over one lost sinner who repents and returns to God than over ninety-nine others who are righteous and haven't strayed away. Or suppose a woman has ten silver coins and loses one. Won't she light the lamp and sweep the entire house and search carefully until she finds it? And when she finds it, she will call in her friends and neighbors and say, Rejoice with me, because I have found my lost coin. In the same way, there is joy in the presence of God's angels when even one sinner repents. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Luke. Praise to you, Lord Christ. And now let us take some time for silent prayer and reflection. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin or be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far and those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O oh Lord, grant that I may not seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand to be loved as to love. For it is in the giving that we receive, it is in the pardoning that we are pardoned. It is in the dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your grateful children, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and all whom you have made. We bless you for your creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world through our Lord Jesus Christ. For the means of grace and the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts, 
we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but with our lives, by giving up ourselves for your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. And now as our Lord has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let me invite you to join us for tomorrow's podcast. We meet each day to journey together into the loving heart of God. You can also join our other podcast, The Daily Radio Bible, where we journey through the entire Bible over the course of a year. But more than that, what we desire most is to experience and have an encounter with the God who is love. Find out more at dailyradiobible.com. The music for this podcast was provided by the artist and composer David Neveu. Find out more about his music at davidneveu.com. And now let's go forward in God's joy. Let's let his joy be our strength. And let us always remember this, that you are loved. Alrighty, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.